Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is time for a Tuesday installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're talking about why you haven't started yet. Stay tuned. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You know, I think I just about, I better knock on wood when I say this, I think I just about have all the knobs and buttons and dials and everything figured out. I didn't even, I didn't even get lost that time, but I didn't turn all my lights on either. Hey, so good morning. Thank you for being here. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning show where we talk about how to start, grow and enjoy the benefits of being an entrepreneur. When you get here, if you will, please do what uh, Joe and Jessica and Keith have already done. Keith's getting a two for this morning. He just watched yesterday's show just now. Um, do what they have done. Leave a comment. Say hi. Say good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever is appropriate for you. Let me know that you're here. I always enjoy seeing who's watching, where you're watching from. Uh, and as always, oh, sunny UK. Sunny. Okay. We'll take it. Hey, Lila. Good to see you this morning. Hey, um, Always encouraging to see where everybody's uh, tuning in from, watching from. And as always, if you have questions, comments, or topics you'd like for me to tackle, be sure and leave those. Dallas, I love Dallas. We lived in Dallas for many years, many years. All right, so uh, fair warning. I probably should have put this in the title. This might be a steel-toed boot edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I've got a little bit of a uh, a topic to tackle. This um, this morning, our quote comes from Jocko Willick. If you don't know Jocko, uh, you should. A couple of great books, Extreme Extreme Ownership uh, and The Dichotomy of Leadership, two excellent books. Uh, I'll leave links for those over on the uh, on my website, tomrigsby.com slash QOTD, quote of the day. That'll get you the right page to be able to see those. His quote says, quote we're playing today, stop researching every aspect of it, reading all about it, debating the pros and cons of it. Just start doing it. And so this is a little bit of the steel-toed boot version. I know why you haven't been able to start yet. It's because you're afraid. But not because you're afraid of failure. That's the thing that, that gets most people derailed when we start talking about this. We all have fears. Fears are not bad, right? We don't want to banish fear. Remember, you cannot demonstrate courage in the absence of fear, right? Fear is a necessary thing. It it jacks up our hormones. It gets our mind in the right place and allows us to laser focus on the things we need to do in order to be successful or survive, right? But When we let fear paralyze us and cripple us, then it becomes a bad thing. Now, when it comes to getting something started, being able to pursue the dreams that you have, the fear that's holding you back is not, is not the fear of failure because we fail every day, right? We, we leave late. We don't do all the things on our to-do list. We, we go, we take a wrong turn. Things happen, but When we experience those little failures every day, what do we do? I mean, this is how we learn to talk. It's how we learn to walk. It's how we learn to ride a bicycle. We have little failures, and we learn from them. And yet when we're looking at something big, we think, oh, man, this is a huge thing. If I fail, it'll be terrible. What you're really afraid of is bruising your ego, right? Bruising the ego. We're not afraid of failure. We're very comfortable with it. What we're afraid of is letting other people see that failure. But the reality is, that's that's the fear that's holding us back. But the reality is, right, that if you will step out, if you'll just step out, that's the only way in order to make progress. You cannot make progress standing still. I had a fantastic conversation yesterday with an 18 year old high school senior who's running a six figure business by accident almost 
And, and one of the things that we talked about was how her friends responded to her success and how the people who had been around her her whole life and were her friends didn't like her success. And she had to, she had to separate herself from them. And when she did that, she found that there were a whole new set of friends. So it, it's kind of like work and having a job, right? We work 40 hours a, a week at a job we hate doing something we don't really like to pay for a house that's too big to impress people we don't even care about, right? So it's kind of the same thing. When we're worried about our ego, we're worried about being embarrassed. We're worried about, we're worried, get that word out, about failing to meet the expectations that we have projected on other people. We, they haven't even said you have to be successful. We just don't want them to think we're not. So we don't. So stop doing that. The only way to make progress is to step forward, right? Remember, happiness comes from progress. Progress comes from execution. Complexity is the enemy of execution. So simplify in order to be happy. That's it. Simplify. All right, man, I got tons of comments here. Let's see if I can get some of them. Good morning, Abby. Thank you for being here. The inability to get all our ducks in a row before we start a project. Yeah, not inability. It's the expectation that they have to be in a row. Right? The and and, and the way you worded this is great, Keith. The inability to get our ducks in a row. We don't have to have them all in a row. All the I's don't have to be dotted. All the T's don't have to be crossed. You've heard me use this this metaphor before. When you're driving over a mountain, you can't see what's on the other side until you get to the top. And the only way to get to the top is to start. So I can create a plan. I can record a set of expectations that says, or in, intended actions, that says this is what I'm planning on doing. But as my field of view changes, so must my plan. Yet we want to make our plan perfect before we start. We want all the lights to be green before we pull out of the driveway. It just doesn't happen that way. Uh, oh, man, micromanagement. Okay, Lila, I will. I'll get to that. That's a good one. Taking action is not always the second step. Sometimes it's the first. Man, is that true or what? That is fantastic. Taking action is not always the second step. Sometimes, you know, we just, I was flipping through funny videos or videos and stuff we wanted to watch or videos to watch on YouTube the other night. And there was uh, a category. No, actually, I guess this was on Reddit. A category of, um, now I forgot what it was called. Dad, dad reflexes, right? It was just these little short snippet videos of dad snatch, snatching safety away from catastrophe. Right. And, but, but the one thing that you get in watching those, and some of them could have been, you know, lethal experiences. The one thing you get from watching that is very few of them thought first. They just reacted. Right. And while we want to respond, not react, sometimes reaction is what's called for. Right. Take action. That's why. Action is in the word reaction. Take action to the, the opportunity. Look, an opportunity is a set of circumstances that says, here, here, the table is set for you. What are you going to do with it? Take that opportunity. Don't worry about bruising the ego. Worry about making progress. And, you know, progress, not perfection. That's the goal. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. Today's Tuesday. It's radio show day. Man, y'all got me on a soapbox. I'm going to have to hurry now to get down there. Uh, top of the hour, 8 o'clock Central Timing. Tune in WTKIRadio.com or watch on TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com. That'll get you to the live stream. You can watch uh, and participate there, provided the Internet's working down there and uh, all things do. Um, otherwise, be back here again tomorrow with another fabulous installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.